एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू अ टू के जी ब्लॉक इज प्लेस्ड ओवर अ फोर के जी ब्लॉक एंड बोथ आर प्लेस्ड ऑन अ स्मूथ होरिजेंटल सर्फेस द कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द ब्लॉक्स इज जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइंड द एक्सलेशन ऑफ द टू ब्लॉक्स इफ अरिजेंटल फोर्स ऑफ ट्वेल्व न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड टू ए द अपर ब्लॉक टी द लोअर ब्लॉक द बेसिक प्रॉब्लम इन दिस क्वेश्चन इज दैट वी डू नॉट नो द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द फ्रिक्शन If the blocks move independently then we know that there will be kinetic friction whose magnitude is constant and equal to mu times normal but in case the blocks move together the friction will be static whose magnitude can be anywhere between 0 to its maximum value of mu times normal so our first priority is to determine if the blocks are moving together or independently there are several approaches to determine this the one i find most efficient is that we first assume that both blocks are moving together taking two blocks as a system we find the common acceleration for both the blocks then we look at the block on which the direct force is not being applied this block will move only because of friction we know the maximum value of friction is mu times normal so we can calculate the maximum acceleration with which this block can move if the common acceleration that we calculated is less than or equal to this maximum value then both blocks will move together else they will move independently let us apply this approach to this question In part A of the question the force is being applied on the upper block if we take both blocks as a system the mass of the system is 6 kg and 12 newton force is being applied to it in horizontal direction since the floor is smooth no other horizontal force acts on the system therefore the common acceleration that is the acceleration with which the blocks would move if they moved together is 12 by 6 that is 2 m per second square now let us check if the maximum possible acceleration of the lower block can match this value If we make the free body diagram of the lower block the only force acting on it in horizontal direction is friction from the upper block now since the mass of the upper block is 2 kg normal at the contact surface is 20 newtons the maximum friction between the two blocks is mu times normal that is 0.2 into 20 or 4 newtons mass of the lower block is 4 kg and maximum of 4 newton force is acting on it therefore the maximum acceleration with which it can move is 1 meter per second square since the common acceleration of the blocks is more than this value blocks cannot move together since the blocks are moving independently there is relative slipping between the blocks and the friction is kinetic so the magnitude of friction between the blocks will be mu times normal that is 4 newtons so the lower block will move with its maximum possible acceleration that is 1 meter per second square let us look at the upper block 12 newton force is being applied on it towards right and friction force of 4 newton is acting on it towards left so net force on it is 8 newtons towards right mass of the block is 2 kg therefore its acceleration is 4 meter per second square so in part a of the question block on top will move with acceleration 4 meter per second square and the lower block will move with 1 meter per second square this is our answer in part b of the question the force is being applied to the lower block as we calculated in part a the common acceleration of the block in case they move together will be 2 meters per second square now let us find out the maximum acceleration upper block can have The maximum value of friction on the block is mu times normal that is 4 newton its mass is 2 kg therefore the maximum possible acceleration is 2 meter per second square since the maximum acceleration the block can have is not less than the common acceleration both blocks will move together and the acceleration will be 2 meter per second square this is answer to part b of the question in order to request solution to any question from hc mama book post the question number and chapter number in comments below like and share the video to help other students find us subscribe the channel for further updates Thank you for watching